guys doing? Yeah. Hey, you sure? Yeah. You guys don't want her to talk to you? No, I don't. You guys probably yeah. just want to, yeah, you just want to do backflips? Yeah. 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 So like coach over there, I, I would have went to Collinwood. I uh, I didn't. I didn't have wrestling when I was in school. Uh, no Cleveland public school had wrestling when I was going through high school. Um, so I ended up going to St. Ed. So I had to get a ride for two years uh, from the east side to the west side. And then for two years, I was able to drive uh, to school. Uh, I started wrestling when I was five. Uh, I wrestled at the Euclid YMCA. Um, I wrestled at Euclid YMCA, and then uh, they dropped their program. And I went to Willoughby. And I wrestled at uh, West End YMCA, and then when I got too big for there, uh, I went to Twinsburg, and I wrestled for uh, Longwood YMCA, and then. Uh, then I wrestled for St. Justin Martyr in seventh grade. Eighth grade, I trained with Lake Catholic. And then ninth grade, I went to St. Ed's. Um, but I fell in love with the sport, right? Uh, my parents didn't go to college. I didn't know too many people who were going to college until I went to high school. And uh, I just knew from an early age that if I wanted to do something, I was gonna have to do it. And Everybody could be good in school, but not everybody could be good in things outside of school. So I chose to become good at wrestling. Uh, I went all over the country uh, to find and compete against the best people uh, once I got to high school. And then uh, after high school, I went to the University of Michigan. And then after the University of Michigan, believe it or not, I was able to wrestle for 10 years after I graduated from college, and I didn't have to get a job. I got to go all over the world. I got to meet people from many different countries, people who don't speak English, right? I got to, I still have friends all over the place, in Russia, uh, all over Europe, South America, Asia, and uh, I've been very fortunate enough to learn this sport from some of the best athletes, coaches uh, that have ever competed in the sport. And so I'm here, I want to teach you I'm not just going to teach you about wrestling, but I'm going to teach you about life and get how to get better at anything, right? Because how many people are going to wrestle their whole life? I want to tell you guys something about honesty, right? You don't have to put your hand up if you don't want to, because at your age, I didn't know I wanted to do that my whole life. I just wanted to have fun in the moment, right? And so today, I'm going to... You guys will see it. I'm going to line you guys up, but I want you guys to be honest with it, right? Because if you guys don't continue to wrestle, you need to continue to do something other than just school because that's how you're going to separate yourself from everybody else, right? You want to go to college, you want to get a good job, do something outside and make yourself a better person. And if that's wrestling, if it's basketball, if it's baseball, soccer, if it's playing an instrument, if it's doing art, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Find something, learn how to do it, and then do it well, right? Because everybody needs a passion, everybody needs something to wake up in the morning and say, you know what, I'm excited for today because I get to do this. I don't have to do it, right? Like today I didn't have to come here. I was excited this morning because I, I was able to come here and I get to do this, I get to talk to you, I get to speak, and I get to share my knowledge with you, right? And so, I hope you guys find that. It doesn't have to be wrestling, but use wrestling to learn something. And then if you move on to something else, learn that until you find something that you really enjoy, and then stick with it. Get really good at it. Um, so, you guys, you guys have any questions? Come down to the mats right now, guys. Uh, so anybody who needs to still change, to do that in the locker rooms. If not, then let's get to that side. Don't go by the mats going down yet. Don't go by those mats yet. What change? What change, guys?
Yeah.